Okay, this video is a practice with using the vertex form and the zero form and of, of a parabola. So this is number five on quadratic lab number two. So before I start, I was going to do C and D with you, but before I start this, how about we write down our formulas that we're going to use? So I'm going to give you points and I'm going to ask you to tell me what the possible formulas of the quadratic are. So the first one is our zeros form. So I have Y equals A x minus box, x minus box. So this, these two places are where our roots go. And you're actually going to need three points to do this because you're going to put your two uh, roots or zeros in there. And you need one other point to see which way it's going to go, if it's going to um, flip up or flip down, um, that type of thing. The other form you're going to use is your um, vertex form, which is y equals a, x minus h, squared, please don't forget that, plus k, which is our vertex form, where you need only two points for this one because you need your vertex and then you need one other point to see which way it's going to flip, if it's going to open upwards or downwards, okay? So I'm going to go all the way to C and D first. I'll let you do A and B. So here's C and D. They're already in green, so I'm going to do this one in red. So it tells us the vertex is 7, 3, and the parabola contains the point 3, 7. And they said, please, can you find the formula? So I just want you guys to see. I don't. I know you can graph and check these, but I want to make sure that you kind of understand what goes on here when you're actually doing this. So they told you the vertex of the turning point is 7, 3. So if I went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, right here is my my vertex or my turning point. I don't know if it opens upwards or if it opens downwards unless they give me another point. And the other point they gave me on this one was 3, 7. So if I did 3, 7, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, that's way up here, that other point would be right up here. I now see that if I was going to have a parabola, this isn't a beautiful picture, but I know that my A is going to be positive because it's got to turn up upwards because this other point was above that vertex. So you're like, okay, I, I think I know what's going to go on. So I'm going to actually do my vertex formula. So I have y equals a x minus h squared plus k. Now remember, you're going to put the vertex in the h spot and in the k spot. Remember, when I put the 7 there, it's going to change signs and then the 3 is going to stay the same. So I have y equals a x minus 7 squared plus 3. Okay, there, there I am so far. I've got that part. I put in my vertex. I'm good. But now I've got to find out what A is. I believe it's going to be positive, but I actually have to do that work. So I'm going to actually plug in this 0.37. That's an XY. So in the Y spot, I'm going to put a 7. In the X spot, I'm going to put a 3. Okay, then I'm just going to do the algebra, but I want you to be careful on this because this is what happens. I got 3 minus 7, which is negative 4 squared, so watch what I do. I'm going to go really in baby steps, and then I know negative 4 squared is 16, and I'm going to put the 16 in front of the A because I have a lot of people that would put this together, and it's like this is a term here. This is a term here. You cannot combine them that way, so if you put the 16 in front of the A, that will help you. So then I'm going to go ahead and solve this, and I'm just going to subtract 3 from both sides. So when I do, I have 4 equals 16a. So I subtracted 3 on both sides. Then I'm going to divide by 16 on both sides, and then I get a to be 1 fourth. And I'm happy because it's positive. And I kind of thought it was going to be positive. So now I, my formula is y equals 1 fourth x minus 7 squared plus 3. And there I have my parabola. So there's that. So I'm going to just kind of box that. Now the other one we have here is it's got my x-intercepts at negative 1 and at 2. So what I'm going to do is kind of do the picture over here like I showed you of this one. And if I look at it here, so here's my x and my y, and just kind of doing a little sketch here. At negative 1 and at 2, it's going to cross the x-axis, okay? Then they tell you at negative 2, which is way over here, the point 16, all right, I come, that's going to be way up here. I look at it and say, wow, 
that's going to kind of looks like it's got to open upwards because that point's got to be part of it. So I think my A is going to be positive, all right? So let's set this up, y equals A. And remember, these are the points, negative 1, 0, 2, 0, because they're my x-intercepts or my roots or my zeros. Then I have x minus box times x minus box. Now what I'm going to do basically is throw those roots in there, negative 1, and I got 2. So when I throw those in there like that, it changes the signs, y equals a, and it's going to come out to be x plus 1, x minus 2. Now i got to throw my point in of negative 2, 16. It's an xy, so I have 16 equals a, negative 2 plus 1, negative 2 minus 2. And when I do that, I get 16 equals a times, and when I do this, I get a negative 1, and I get a negative 4. So I have 16 equals, I'm going to multiply those together. It's positive 4, put it in front. And I'm going to divide each side by 4. I get a is 4. So I'm happy because it's positive. So I have y equals 4, x plus 1, x minus 2. And you can leave it just like that. And I'm happy because it kind of goes with my little sketch. So there's one of each kind of problem. And I use Christmas colors so that you can make sure that you could do the formula for the quadratic. And that's the end of this video.